One Life to Live, the FBI agent, the ex-CIA agent, the ex-Marine, break into the top secret facility to find out which is the real Todd. The DNA tests were inconclusive. Are they twins? Is one a clone? Why am I doing this? Tense movie voice. Because anything I say is now interesting times a thousand. When I'm in my movie voice, I could say chocolate milk. Eggos. Ostrich egg. Two girls. One cup. It sounds like an action movie. Doesn't it? What will happen now so you're free to Todd? To your home with a is Todd a twin? The Scarface Todd. The dorky Todd. Yes, he looks like a dork. Poor Dave Vickers. <clears throat> anyway, I can't keep going back. Ah, uh, Dave Vickers' part was brilliant. Both of them intimidating him and they give out the information, how they're finishing each other's sentences. That whole sequence is just epic in this episode. I have to say, the, uh, the fake Todd isn't that bad. Uh, the whole twin thing, the um, everything coming out, mother still alive, uh, Clint living with Vicky again. Everyone's just one happy family. One likes to live. The uh, abortion from the hoe, which now she's not thinking of getting it because it's face it, she was never mother. You know, I love you. Let's just do it. You know, whatever you want, honey. You can you can kill an innocent life. I mean, I just want to be with you because I wasn't in your life before. Uh, trying to make before getting investigated. Which, if you have an abortion, you are not. Unless it's extremely rare circumstances. There's only three reasons you have an abortion. I'm sorry, no. There's only one reason you have an abortion. Actually, no. There's a second. It might kill you. And the second reason is you cannot avoid the baby and it's going to kill you. Because you have to eat or two. You cannot afford that. Yeah. But however, in certain states, that does not apply because there are um, programs for pregnant women. Trust me, a lot easier than men. Anyway, back to where I still live. <clears throat> How will Todd handle the news? Will there be any information in the journal? Which Todd will reach for the journal first? Will John make it out of the facility alive? Or are there traps set in motion that he himself cannot predict? Will the four have to fight for their very lives? Will they have to rely on each other? Will they have to tell him, John Brody? <clears throat> Damn it, I'm losing myself. Will Brody have to tell John? His son is really his. Will John take a bullet for Brody? Will that be the final straw that breaks the camel's back of trust and deceit? What will happen next? The intensity of velocity and spirits. Warp. Mark 9. <clears throat> Damn it, I can't think while I'm doing that, too. I'm trying to hold my breath and I'm kind of getting lightheaded at the same time. But will John force Brody to reveal the truth in it, Brody, risking his own life, telling him that he has Natalie and Leah to go home to? What will Brody do next? Damn, I have much more respect for those guys, because that's hard to do on the throat, kind of. Especially that corny thing that freaking Christian Bale does in the, in the Batman. But anyway, I mean, how's Brody going to handle all that stuff? Right now, I'm just blurring out stuff. Because I like what I'm to and it's an interesting show, and it's over now anyway. Oh my uh, General Hospital's on all my jokes on the floor. What's going to happen? Because John, or now we're doing the whole thing, seriously. John, uh, Brody, and Tomas are raiding the uh, facility. They rescued that other guy, the, the, the black dude. Damn it, I keep forgetting his name. The CIA other guy, which he's actually in the CIA. See, so look at this book. He's an ex-CIA, a real CIA, or still CIA, the FBI guy, John, and the ex-Marine. You know, like, kicking ass and stuff. And the two Todds are talking to what's his name. They get the journal. Um, Star might have another kid on the way. You know, that one goes just like bang everybody. So sad. Anyway, one of the Scarface Todd has proven to be the real Todd. I wonder what everyone's going to do, how everyone's going to react. Anyhow, 
past all that. The questions, the seances, all very intriguing, interesting stuff. So, four, actually, I'm sorry, three questions for today. Todd. Hmm. Who's going to be the real Todd? Scarface Todd, you can even count. <laughs> The whole Todd story. Second question. What's going on with Brody, Liam, and John? Will the truth ever come out? Come on, people. It's getting old. Uh, third question. Actually, it's not more than that. Third question. What about Gigi? Is he actually seeing her? My mother thinks that Stacy, Gigi's sister, is pulling the whole Erica Kane surgery crap and uh, looks like Gigi now. That what's going on. Another question. Will David Vickerman's movie be a smashing hitter? It's just going to stink. How is Irene going to fit into this whole script? That's another question. How is Irene going to uh, establish her character in the new days? One night to the next. What will happen next with that? How's everyone going to mesh all this together? There's so much confusion. And why did that fat? Mm -hmm. Slap Nora just because she didn't want her to have the abortion. She was trying to talk her out of it. I mean, really. Slap somebody because they didn't want to kill a baby? Do we live in backwardsville? Or is this reverse world? Is this like if she pulled her out of the way of a speeding car, would she dropkick the bitch? What the hell, man? I mean, you'd think she didn't want the abortion, but I guess, you know, she was a crappy mom to destiny, so I guess she just doesn't want to be a crappy grandmother, and the best way to solve that is just kill the baby! Good idea, woman. Seriously. I don't care who you are, what you look like. Anybody who wants to kill a baby, you just slap. I think I've said that before in this video, but you just slap. Screw you. Anywho. Oh, and by the way, that has no point of view with the Christian, Catholic, Muslim, Buddhist, Taoist, or whatever kind of philosophy or religion you guys want to go with. I just disagree with abortion because it disgusts me on every level as a human being. I would rather slice off my own Jimmy with sandpaper. That's right. You probably didn't even know that. You may that from mind if you don't want to. But anyway, any questions you may have, I mean, I don't think I can answer mine. My good answer, who you knows? Pop down there. Uh, any comments, uh, concerns with my videos, or just things that could make them even more spiffy for you ladies out there. Alright, alright. I do need to shave. Anyway. Oh, before I forget, and close off and hit the hay for the day, what are they doing with one life left? I asked in another video I made earlier about what to do with all my children. But One Life to Live is actually so I catch all the time now. I haven't missed an episode in the last couple of uh, months because of online too. I watch them online, abc.com. All the episodes of One Life to Live, they pop in at the bottom of the screen. Hold on. They pop in at the bottom of the screen. Yeah, they pop in at the bottom of the screen, side to side, and pick the date. Anyway, what are they going to do with it? What channel is it going to air on? Is the whole thing going to be cut all together? Or will it just be aired online? How's it going to work out? If you know, please put it down there, along with any other One Life to Live stuff. And if you have One Life to Live videos where you would like to shoot the crap about One Life to Live, All My Children, or General Hospital, leave your link down here so I can subscribe to your stuff and I can watch what you have to say about uh, the soaps. Because I just find it interesting. We can maybe shoot the crap sometimes, send each other some messages. You know, whatever. Just, you know, talk about uh, a show that should bond all of us together. Well, shows. Tell my children one night to live. Or General Hospital. I don't know as much about General Hospital, but one night to live, definitely. Anything right down there. Send your uh, address. I'll just click on it and we'll shoot the crap. All right. That's all.